Guys, Katie's supposed to be at work, but she was exhausted this morning. And when she woke up, she was like, okay, let's get some stuff done. Let's start cooking breakfast. Let's, you know, I got up a little bit early to play some Destiny. I am now level five. But Katie, when she got up, was trying to be all ambitious and actually get stuff done. <laughs> Instead of wasting time like me. Then about 10 o'clock, she sat down and said, I feel horrible. She's sick, guys. I went and felt her forehead. You know that whole, like, this thing? And you just hold it there, and you hold it there, and you hold it there. And if your hand is still warm, not normal temperature, like you can do it to yourself and do it to someone else. If your hand is actually still warm, it's a pretty good indication that they probably have a fever. I stuck my hand on her head, and I was like, ow, that's hot. And then it only went down just a little tiny bit. So I said, honey, you have a fever. So she is in the bedroom laying down right now. And I was going to watch Charlie all day anyways. Now I'm doing it because Katie's sick. I told her she was forced to call into work. I wasn't going to let her go. Because she serves food to people all day. Let's talk about something you shouldn't do when you're sick. Hand other people things that go inside of their bodies is probably a high, high on that list. She's playing with her house. She's got this window in the back of the house. Let's see if we can say hi through the window. Where's the doorbell? <laughs> I think she's getting a little bit too big for this. We're gonna have to figure something else out when she actually outgrows it and can't fit inside of there. She's she's a big little girl, so yep. I'm just trying to keep her occupied playing and calm down so that Katie can rest try to get better I got her a <laughs> Gatorade with a straw so that she could just drink something and apparently we're watching some little kids Disney show whatever something to keep her like just basically a little bit of volume I told Katie I said you're gonna have to watch her Charlie's going to be 16, and she's been practicing crawling out through windows since a year old. <laughs> Katie was like, not funny, Phil. <laughs> We're going to put bars on her window. <laughs> Let's go check on Katie. I think she just needed some sleep. These early mornings and long days at work are just really taking a toll on her. Try. Hi. She carries around this old cell phone. Guys, it's cold. Look at this. We actually turned the heater on this morning. <laughs> For a little while, we actually turned the oven on too, just to get the temperature up. This heater is just cranking. It's on low right now, but I think we've got the living room to a decent temperature. I've been walking around with my hoodie jacket, my little sweater with a hood, some sleeves on, all morning. <laughs> I didn't want to get out of bed. Cause I was too cold to move. <laughs> Charlie's room has a heater on all the time to maintain a good temperature. But the bedroom and the living room here, no such luck. I came out in the living room, I was like, oh, it's so cold. We turned the heater on. And I literally just kind of stood here, right next to the heater for a long time. So we're like this, we're like, 
<sighs> Just trying to stay warm today. <laughs> and it's not even October yet. It's like the 30th of September and we're freezing cold. Is this not the cutest thing you've ever seen? She... <laughs> She has been uh, wanting to help me edit the vlog. I, you know, you can see all the different clips and stuff. This is what we do every day. We sit there and organize clips and make them shorter, make them longer, whatever we need to do. But she got to the point where she didn't... She didn't want to play with her toys in the living room. She wanted to come and sit with me. So... I made this little uh, protective area. She's got a chair with the back and the desk and my chair and the walls. She's basically zoned in there. She can't get anywhere. She can't fall without just basically falling right on her seat. <laughs> so she wouldn't actually slide down at all. <laughs> so guys, apparently little one found my bag of all my clothes and stuff. And she decided it would be cute and funny to put on one of my shirts. Just so you get a size comparison, yes. That is a normal size shirt on me. And she's dragging it on the ground everywhere she goes. Guys, guess who's up? Katie, still not feeling great, but at least she's up, and right now, her and Charlie are just playing. And we're just watching Cutthroat Kitchen. Apparently, apparently, Katie got up last night and watched this episode because she wasn't feeling good, so in the middle of the night. We both watch, like watching Cutthroat Kitchen because we sit there going, oh, that looks yummy. We should make that for dinner sometime, you know? And then we watch them and we're like, yeah, but not in a high chair like this last <laughs> <laughs> this episode's doing or not with a log saw, you know? <laughs> so cute. Okay. I'm not. Guys, I made lunch. <laughs> I'm not. I made lunch. I made mac and cheese. <laughs> yummy, 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 yummy. And she's supposed to try does it. Does this look yummy? Yeah, it does. Look at that stuff. It's brown. It's not brown. Try it. It's not wheat stuff. I could have used wheat noodles. That's good. <laughs> try some. No. Turn off the camera because I don't want to puke on camera. It would get so many more views. Good point. <laughs> Honest opinion. Noodles aren't cooked enough. Okay. You kind of taste the chocolate. And? And what else? Is it good? It's edible. It's edible. Okay, it's mac and cheese, so I suppose that's about right. <laughs> so I actually use chocolate milk instead of regular milk, and I've told a lot of people about this, and they all kind of give me the same thing. Really? In mac and cheese? But seriously, when you try it, you'll know. I think it's delicious. What are you doing, Philip? Playing cello. When was the last time you played cello, Philip? Very, very long time ago. So the fact that I can still do that. <laughs> Good thing. Hello. I knew it'll actually learn something else to play though. This is how you can tell Charlie's tired. She gets her blankie and sucks her thumb by the patio door. I'm not entirely sure why.
but that's what she does. All right, Charlie. Are you sleepy? Yeah. <laughs> oh, there she goes. Good night, Charlie. So, flashback to our first date that I actually cooked for her. Fried zucchini. So we have this issue though. For some reason, I remember when my mom used to make it, there was more breading stuck to the zucchini. So if you guys have any suggestions, or mom, I know you watch these videos, does that look normal? Because <laughs> I feel like there's supposed to be more breading on them than what that is. And yes, we used a skillet, basically just like a little frying pan like that, and we used plenty of oil in it to keep them from sticking to the pan. But I don't know, maybe I'm just remembering it different. Maybe there was different breadcrumbs or something. I just thought it just should be more than that. So tonight's uh, dinner of choice. We do these dinners every time that we get a day off or a night off together. And today, because she was sick and I didn't have to work, we figured it'd be a perfect time. Today what we're doing is a little bit of uh, ground turkey meat. A little bit healthier than using red meat. And we've had chicken a lot, so we figured we'd go ground turkey. And we boiled some uh, penne regatta noodles. I don't know if I'm saying that right. R-A-G-A-T-E. R-I-G-A-T-E. Whatever that is. Some noodles there. Some meat. Some uh, creamy Alfredo sauce from Classico. We were going to do red. Spasso. Yeah, we were going to do red sauce. I bought this giant bottle mm -hmm. of... Uh, Prego. <laughs> Prego. And her little tummy ache. It's not a tummy ache. Dragon heart. <clears throat> she said she had heartburn. And I said, you have a dragon heart? <laughs> she was like, a what? And I said, your heart's burning like a dragon's. <laughs> what? And I was, but then just a minute ago, she was just like, it's my dragon heart acting up. And I was like, oh, that's funny. <laughs> so we were going to do some, some Prego in there. But because of her dragon heart, we decided to go with some creamy Alfredo sauce instead because the tomato paste and tomato juices are probably, the acids from the tomatoes will probably act up her dragon heart. Check out our noodles. Mm -mm. Look, they're almost done. The ground turkey with the noodles with the Alfredo sauce is going to be delicious. <laughs> Your hand. <laughs> My hand on the counter was like, delicious. The vlog is ready for you. Okay. That's right, guys. I edited another vlog, so if it's terrible, you can blame me, not her. And no, it's not because I'm scared she's going to delete footage again. I don't know if they know that yet. That's in this vlog, guys. You'll know what I'm talking about by the time you watch the last vlog, that one that I'm uploading as uh, this I'm dinner is cooking. Person. She's not a horrible person. Everyone makes mistakes, and it's a very easy mistake to make. No, you I'm... bring up folders on the computer, and you don't remember which folder you're no, looking at, and it no. just gets deleted off. No. I deleted them from the camera. Yeah. Oh, you went on the camera and deleted like, them one at a time? I all. Because I thought maybe I'd uploaded them the night before, and I didn't. And I sat there, and I was like... Right as it was deleting, right? As it deleted, I was like, wait. It's okay. The only thing you guys really missed was like we cooked uh, chicken, no, enchiladas. chicken enchiladas, no, enchiladas. And I kept calling the tortillas tortillas all day. I was like, I bought some tortillas for our enchiladas. <laughs> Just being funny. We basically went through a whole thing about those enchiladas, and that was pretty much it. Don't be too impressed by our meals. Because for the most part, we open up jars of stuff and boxes of noodles. I can cook homemade, though. She could. I'm talented. But let's be honest. I'm sick. That takes a lot of time. It's fun, though. <laughs> it takes a lot of time and way more effort than I'm willing to put this into really one meal. Us, I don't even care. Oh, fried zucchini with, like, overabundance of Alfredo sauce on our noodles and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yes. At least we went ground turkey, right? <laughs> And zucchini's healthy. Not when you fry. Before you fry it. So we start with good bases and then we just add whatever we can and make it unhealthy again. 
We're not even gonna talk about the, the ice cream we're eating after this. So I rented a movie tonight, The Fault in Our Stars. Uh, John Green, one of the Green brothers that puts on a bunch of different YouTube conventions and stuff, and he does, they have multiple channels between John and Hank Green. Uh, he made a movie. Well, he made a book, and it got turned into a movie, so I saw that it was out, and I decided it was time to rent it. She got all excited. She she didn't know I had rented it, and then she, I was like, yeah, I got a movie, too. She goes, really? Which one? And I said, Faults in Our Stars. She goes, I wanted to see that, and I was like, I know. That's why I rented it for you, because <laughs> she told me a while back, so. Well, guys, apparently, the zucchini was a hit, because it, mine's gone already. And I ate it so quickly, I forgot to like vlog the reaction to it. <laughs> she did the same thing. She only took a couple to start with. And then she went back and grabbed some more. Basically all of them. <laughs> I took my half first so that <laughs> I'd get them. Let's put it that way. My dad said that when he was growing up, his family had a rule. If you don't make it to the dinner table, before the food's gone, you don't eat. So I make sure that I make it there and get my fair share before anything else happens. I grabbed my 10 pieces of zucchini before before she went back for her seconds. And they were delicious. They turned out okay. I wonder if their bread is right or wrong. They're still good. Yeah, they're still good. Dipped in ranch and everything. Just like, mmm. And this pasta, this ground turkey pasta, this is good. I love it. I'm glad I found someone who is willing to cook and also that likes the same foods as me. <laughs> Basically likes everything. Pretty much. We just had a conversation. We we're talking about the fact that in some past friendships that I've had, I've kind of adjusted who I was. Not really changed as a person, but made some decisions that I wouldn't have made necessarily. Like, uh, one of my last roommates liked Taco Bell a lot, and so I used to go eat Taco Bell with him all the time. And it's not something that I would do on my own. Since I moved away f from him, I think I've been there once, and it was with a bunch of my other friends who all decided to go. I'd never choose it by myself. But with Katie, I don't have to do that. I don't think to myself, oh, I would never do this if it wasn't for someone else. Pretty much everything that I would choose to do is what she was already thinking about doing. So it's just, it's one more piece of proof every single time that I'm in the right relationship with the right person at the right time too. So it's good. Good dinner, good conversation. Meaningful conversation was a good one, so. Now it's time to go watch our movie. As soon as I finish these last couple bites and she finishes the rest of the dishes. Cause she's that awesome and does them right after we eat every single time. <laughs> it's funny. Here you go, Charlie.